my name is Anna and welcome to Cactus Caffeine. In this channel, I share with you my passion of growing cactus and other desert plants over usually a cup of coffee. But today, it's a chilled coffee. <laughs> this is actually frappe which I just made myself. So this is what I am having today because it is so hot. It is still spring and yet... Um, our temperature today we reached uh, 94 degrees Fahrenheit <laughs> so I'm drinking cold coffee today so I am going to give you an update on this side of my garden so this is uh, in my backyard if you've been watching my channel I showed this a while back in um, one of my vlogs so in this section I have opuntias planted here and I have a couple more cactus in here there's a ferro cactus lattice penis in there so this is actually the first section in my garden where I started planting cactus in the ground even before I started collecting cactus these opuntias are the first ones that I planted here in the ground if you notice the front section of this garden is full so i was able to plant here in front but actually if i show you the back there is a big space still there's about a meter distance from the wall to this tree here and previously when we bought this house this back area was a hot mess there were like um, unfinished plumbing and sprinkler wires everywhere sprinkler hoses everywhere here and there was uh, no soil in this area so only this front part had soil in them that's why we were able to plant only in this front area but nothing at the back so this was a deep deep end so over the years i just filled it up with whatever dirt i have like if i buy plants this is where i throw the nursery soil in broken pots terracotta pots are in there although recently i started buying cactus soil in the bag just for me to be able to fill it up and level it with the front section of this garden I have started planting as you can see I have an opuntia there so those pads came from the opuntias here which I just rooted and then I placed a false ocotillo in there and then I have several pots lined up this is how it looks like on the other side it's hard to get the frontal view because of the grill over there but this is the other side of the garden and this is the back side that I am working on. So from here on, I will show you the progress that I will be um, working on in this section of my garden. I laid down some bricks in here. So I have one, two, three, four. So these will act as stepping stones because in this garden, I want to be able to walk through it. Okay, so I want easier access on the plants. Unlike the two other desert gardens that I have, I can only admire the plants there from a distance. <laughs> but in this one, I want to be able to go through this garden and admire the plants closer if you will notice it is actually almost 12 noon right now but this side is shaded that is because the sun rises from this right side over here and sets on this side that's why this will get actually afternoon sun so it will be very hot in this section during the summer so i have to be very careful with the plants that i will plant in here i have to make sure that they will be able to withstand hot, the hot afternoon sun i gathered all the hardiest cacti that i have that were still in the pot and i planted them all in here now i am ready to lay down some rocks but it is getting pretty late so i might have to call it a day all right i finally completed it after two weeks <laughs> it took me two weeks to complete this area guys but uh, here it is don't expect too much presenting my very simple desert garden so this is the newest section of my garden here uh, in my backyard 
so as you can see i've planted the cacti along the wall or against the wall and then i placed some stepping stones in here because like i said i want this garden to be accessible so i want to be able to walk through it and get closer to the plants so first of all around the garden i had to put a fence here and that is for my dog because i have a dog that loves to dig and while i was working on this garden he was already started digging in here so i had to put this fence in here so i just gotta be careful when i walk through it to go over the fence <laughs> but let me walk you through what i did in here as you can see all the plants that i planted in here are still small and that is because i did not want to buy new plants just for this area the reason why i am starting to plant cacti in the ground is because i am running out of space for potted plants <laughs> so if i think they can survive it being in the ground and out here in the backyard i plan to put more cacti in the ground so all these have been with me for some of them several years some of them a few months but i bought nothing no plant just for this yard i spent all my money on the rocks <laughs> yeah those rocks they cost a lot <laughs> first one in here this is an opuntia i got this as a cutting from my friend here in vegas so in his yard he has a big one of this and it was producing orange flowers so i know this one will eventually when it uh, matures will give me orange colored flowers and then this one is a trichocereus i don't know the idea of this one but being a trichocereus i'm expecting it to be very hardy with the sun it uh, bloomed a couple of days ago and it has buds but i expect them to drop hopefully not but i I will, won't be surprised if they drop because of the stress of uh, being potted, uh, planted here in the ground while blooming. And then this is another Opuntia cutting that I got from my friend as well. So this one, uh, it doesn't produce glow kids when it is mature. It only has glow kids on the new pads, but the mature pads only has spines. So as much as possible, I don't want any glow kids in this area because i will be walking in and out of this area and then i also included my talavera pots i have two of that that's one and the other one is over there so those are the talavera pots that i bought from lil baja if you saw my video when i went there so this is that and this one is the uh, barrel Echinocereus crusonii, but the white white spined version. This is a false ocotillo. I thought I bought the real thing, but <laughs> I did not read the pot. It and turned out to be a false ocotillo, but I planted it in here anyway because I know this is very hardy. And then um, this is a last minute thing that I decided to put in there. That is a rose quartz cactus. I have plenty of that so I took the chance and planted it in this section if it makes it great if not I won't feel so bad because I have a lot of that and it produces a lot of pops and this one is an Apuntia ficus indica these were cuttings from this big guys over here to my right so I got them as cuttings from here and rooted them and now it is in here so i planted another one back here because i am planning to take this one out this one the smallest one so i'd probably leave this big ones because this is the one that just flowered <laughs> i was uh thinking of removing this big one but then it suddenly flowered so i'll just remove this small one later on when this big when this opultia ficus indica here gets bigger and then i have another talavera turtle in there for decoration and then this is another trichocereus grandiflorus i've had this for a while i bought it it was in a 
small pot from a big box store. I haven't seen its flower. So that will be a surprise in the future. <laughs> this is another Talavera pot here with a Trichocereus grandiflorus that produces white flowers. And that one is another Trichocereus grandiflorus because they are very hardy, these Trichocereus. And that is the one that I showed in my live video when it had those big pink flower. And then this is the view from the other side of the garden. The sun rises from this side. This is east and sets on this side. So this section against the wall receives intense sunlight at the hottest part of the day in the afternoon. That's why when I chose the plants in here, I have to choose the ones that are very hardy or tough under heat. I placed a, my thermostat here yesterday and uh, i monitored how hot it gets in here so our temperature during the day the hottest part was 97 degrees fahrenheit but in this section when the sun hit it it was 30 degrees hotter so it reached 127 degrees fahrenheit <laughs> yes but luckily it uh, gets like um dappled shade from these apuntias right here so as the sun moves sometimes they're under direct sun sometimes they get shade from the apuntia so that helps and i will also be putting shade cloth on them at least i think for this summer until they get settled because they are fairly new so their roots have not really grown deep in the ground so until they're fairly settled um, then they won't be needing the shade cloth anymore hopefully but maybe this year I'll give them extra protection from the summer heat okay oh and in here I almost forgot about this I placed an agave a variegated Victoria Regine in here so hopefully it makes it in this section but I will also be putting a shade cloth on top of that and then I have a little gnome in there just to hide the bottom branches of that rose bush. Okay, so and then this is the walkway that I did. Okay, so these are lava rocks. These in the middle, the red ones, those are actually lava rocks. Alright, so this is my newest garden. Uh, let me know what you think guys and if you have any suggestions for me, feel free to put them in the comments down below. Alright, so if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you like cactus and other desert plants. And I'll see you again next time. Bye everyone and cheers!